All right. The wait is finally over. I have been planning to do a video like this for a very long time in which it'll be a reaction video to, um, well, in this one, it'll be Dave Ramsey, who is the ever so uh, highly reputable uh, financial guru. Talk about, you know, going to college. Um, I did watch the first few minutes of this video, um, but then I had to stop it because I had some technical difficulties that I wanted to sort out first. But either way, this is a, a reaction video. For those who don't know me, my name is Jordan Green Ellis. Um, I help families decrease and eliminate student loan debt so that they can graduate debt-free and get onto their destiny. I wrote a book called Caps and Gowns, All Smiles, No Frowns, The Keys to Earning a Debt-Free Degree, and I run a mentoring program for families just like yours called Caps and Gowns University. My professional background before entrepreneurship, now I'm a award-winning speaker, educational consultant, and author. But before then, I worked in K-12 education education as a teacher and in higher ed in financial aid and student uh, student affairs or student activities which is under the umbrella of student affairs and financial aid but I digress forewarning I'm definitely gonna make some facial expressions but please let me finish before you you know try and crucify me if you have questions drop them in the comments let's get into it what I was telling her a minute ago I think it's worth you and I unpacking for a minute because we've talked about it on on air and off both um, when you started digging into the student loan crisis and our team started really do doing the research into it and start breaking it down, mm -hmm. um, you know, we see people that pay too much. Yes. Pick the wrong school. They pick the wrong school. They pick a degree. That has no profit. That, that has no. You don't need a degree. You don't need. This is a part that I watch. You don't need a degree that has profit. You just need a degree. Let me not say you don't need a degree that has profit. In some cases, yes, but I don't want this to. Let me back up. <laughs> because this is often a reason why people people decide not to go to college because they don't know what they want to study. No, 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 no. I do think that it's important. I do think that if you want to be a doctor, you should you know know the track and all of that stuff. But don't let this be the reason that you don't go. Still be strategic, okay? Still invest your time wisely and your resources wisely. Don't just do anything, y'all, but don't let this be the reason why you don't go. You have to have a degree, y'all. It's the 21st century. It's 2023. 75% of the jobs require a degree or its equivalent. Having a degree is better than not having a degree at all, okay? It's going to increase your earning potential significantly, Okay, the statistics say over the course of your work career, you earn one million dollars more if you have a degree. Okay, here's a, here's an example. Okay, my degree is in sport management with a concentration in business. My undergrad degree. Okay, I worked in financial aid. Or I worked in education, right? Um, but then when I got to higher ed and I wanted to work in higher ed, I needed a degree to get the job. I worked in financial aid, y'all. You can't study financial aid. Okay. But you do need a degree to get financial aid and to get a job in financial aid. Me having that degree not only you know set me up for what I'm doing right now, but more importantly, it gave me a salary. I was able to earn additional income by working more hours. I had benefits like health benefits and retirement, which many young people aren't thinking about, as well as the opportunity to get additional degrees for pennies, okay? So please don't let that be the sole factor of you not going to school because you don't know what you want to study. You can figure it out. In fact, for many of you guys that will go undeclared for the first year or two or whatever, that's fine. Because your experiences while you are there will help to form you to who you are going to become post-graduation. I digress. Let's keep going. Uh, career possibilities equal to what they paid, meaning there's no ROI, yeah. no return on investment on this level of education. Uh, and so Sorry. There will always be ROI, so long as you actually do something, right? If you have an urban studies degree or communication degree or whatever, and you go home and you sit on your rusty dusty and don't do nothing and don't go get a job that you may not necessarily like, that you may not necessarily want right out of college and get your life started and get some income and get out of mama's basement or stay in mama's basement and sit on that money that you're going to stack, you ain't going to get no ROI. And you ain't going to get no ROI if you don't go. Don't let this be the deciding factor. That may not have been what they were getting to. I just want to, you know, clear the air. Let's go. You know, if you can become a, a high school math teacher uh, for 
uh, you know, twelve thousand dollars a year at your local state school tuition, which is what the state schools average right now. Yeah. Um, or you can spend fifty thousand. This video is a year old. Dollars a year for exactly the same Five job. Applies, uh, and if you were going to go into debt, we'd say it's two hundred thousand versus uh, forty thousand. Yes. Uh, we're not going to tell you going to debt, but when you just compare those two things right there, for the for for the exact same career field, right? Uh, it's asinine. It's definitely is what definitely people is. have been led to do, chosen to do. Yeah, Dave. And, and another thing that we've uh, I've learned is people are, I'm going to say this respectfully, they're lazy. They don't want to step back and do the research and see what are the programs and the opportunities out there. You're talking about forty thousand. Let's go even a little bit deeper, Dave. If you go to like one of the schools, let's like say UNC Wilmington, UNC uh, Pembroke, you can actually, if you get accepted into the school, you you will only pay five hundred dollars up in one of their programs a semester. So that's a thousand dollars a year, four thousand dollars. I don't know if that's true or not, um, but I think the concept of what he's getting ready to go into, yeah, the concept of what he's about to say is still very true and it's, it's relevant you need to run the numbers you need to count the cost before you go into it second chapter of my book is don't get caught by surprise y'all i talk about how i got a call from the bursar like my first week in school because i didn't know you better not enroll in the school and not know how much it costs don't do it that is a trap did you hear what i said okay that's a trap okay i'm telling you you don't get caught by surprise. Do the research. Sure, it's going to be a heavy lift at the beginning, but it won't be nearly as heavy as having to pay money that you do not have. It won't be nearly as heavy as paying back 25 to 30 percent of your income to the student loan lender because you weren't prepared and you had to borrow on top of whatever else. OK, do the work on the front end. It'll pay off. That's why it's an investment. Hello. Sucks at the beginning, pays off at the end. Come on, let's go. Or a bachelor's degree to become a school teacher. Yeah. But people do not want to step back and do the research on what they want to do if they're in North Carolina. They want to go to Chapel Hill. They want to go to Duke. They want to go to these big names, which is nothing wrong with it. But they think, if I go to Duke, I'll be a better school teacher. I agree with this. This is 2023, y'all. We, go we don't go to school for the prestige of going. You better not go to school for your mama's self-esteem, okay? Mama going to be all right. Mama didn't live her life. OK, parents, don't make your kid go to your alma mater for your self-esteem because you want to flex to your, your classmates. Let's go. <laughs> not, 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 you know, not. You, you get in the same education, go to the same school, getting paid the same money, but you pay. 10 times more than actually stepping back and doing the research and picking the right school that's going to elevate you, give you the education, which is important. Y'all, I've seen this so many times. Just the other day, working with one of my students, man, in, in Caps and Gowns University, he wants to go to a particular school. We run into numbers. Excuse me. And I compare it to another school that this student got in, and I'm like, hey. I ain't telling you what to do, but I want you to know the decision that you're making. There are many families who make these decisions to go to school that don't know what they're signing up for in comparison to a different option that will be more financially stable for them. Yo, do not let people bind you in a situation that you're not, that's not beneficial for you. Y'all, it's like getting married. It's like getting married. Whether or not you finish the degree at that school, you're still stuck with something. It might be a bill. It may be debt. But I need you to know what you're getting into before you get into it. Let's keep going. Which is important. But what is your long-term gain? What's the long-term gain? So here's the Very warning good. for you guys out there. Very good. Um, if you, Whether you're the student, student us maybe on YouTube and you're thinking of going into college. In the future, you're 17, 18, 16, 19, whatever. <laughs> Whether you're the parent. I'm laughing because I know where he's about to go. This is hilarious. I love dry humor. The thing that Anthony and I have seen where the largest mistakes happen, I mentioned to her earlier, 
it was her mom didn't know anything about higher education. Yeah. Facts. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Because she hadn't gone to college, and there's no shame in that. None. But it's like buying a car and you've never owned one. Yeah. <laughs> and you go, well, you know, you need to get a Bentley. <laughs> You know, you ought to get a Mercedes because I heard they're really good. But I've never owned a car. I've never even driven a car. It's as funny the second time. I promise you, this ain't for the camera. I don't do that. All right, let's keep going. That's a good that's you an know? example. And, and so, uh, but, you know, but I heard they're really good. Yeah. I heard that those Mercedes are really good cars. Yeah, well, I ain't getting money, yeah. but I'm going to go sign up for a Chevrolet because my mom... I'm going to go sign up for a, a Bentley or a Mercedes instead of a Chevrolet because my mom or dad has never been there. So, Yo, mama, It's funny, but people do this. People do this. People do this. Yo, I have seen it so many times working in the industry. I've seen it so many times working with families, doing events in the community. People buy Bentleys when they, got, when they don't got Bentley money. <sighs> Don't make this mistake, y'all. Don't get caught by surprise. Know what you're getting into. Mom and Dad. If, you've, if you didn't go to school, there is zero shame in that. As a matter of fact, it might just be awesome that you didn't go to school. I'm, I, you're not in debt. Life is good, right? If your kid is getting ready to go to school, get some people in your corner yes. that, have, uh, that, that have... I haven't seen this part. But I totally agree. Here's another problem that I see. Y'all, that same student that I was telling you about was misinformed by one of her counselors and ultimately missed out on some money. I'm not shaming the counselor. I'm not throwing shots at your kid's counselor. But they have hundreds of students, y'all. Yours is just a number to them. And though it may feel, make, make you feel some type of way, I want you to understand the reality of the situation. And in fact, many of them don't even know what they They don't, okay. They do have an understanding, but they don't know the financial aid game, Okay. I have no shame in promoting my business. I was about to say shameless plug. Um, but um, I know the financial aid game. Yeah. All right, real quick. Let's take a quick interjection and watch this. Coming off of Cash and Downs University, I feel as though uh, we would have gotten through the process, um, but I definitely know that we probably would have not gotten all the scholarships uh, that we uh, received for our son. And he does have a college fund, but again, not realizing how much college has gone up, <laughs> uh, you know, it would have, we would have to come out of pocket and then accept some loans. All right, now that we're back, I have many stories just like that, okay? That same student that I've been talking about all in this video, I typed up a, a response for her. I told her to send this to uh, your financial aid counselor. And the next day, she got $500 more, less than 24 hours. I know the game. Do not go on this journey by yourself. Do your research, even if you don't work with somebody like me. Do not count on the people that your child is with from 8 to 3 to, to do it. Don't count on anybody to do it for you, but pos position yourself to get the right information. Oh, I can't I can't emphasize that point enough. I don't know how many times I get calls from families that are in their junior year of college and wondering how they can. No, it's too late. It's too late. It's too late. I get I, even even in June of, you know, the 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 year that you're about to go in the fall. It's too late. It's too late. It's too late for the fall. Now, of course, we can do something, you know, for the rest of your college career, but you're going to take them loans. OK, because you don't have the right information and you don't have enough time. Don't wait, y'all. Let's keep going. I have a degree that I have made some of the mistakes, maybe, uh, that aren't thinking like society is thinking, like our broken culture is thinking, because otherwise you could really screw up your kid. Yeah. Yep. By allowing by two things, one is allowing them to pay too much, and two is allowing them to study um, left wing feminism 
or something, and no. then all of a sudden you've got no ability to get a job because there's no such thing. Wait a minute. Chew the meat, spit out the bones. Don't get thrown off on that one point. That's Dave Ramsey. Get a degree. Okay? Get a degree so that you can get a higher paying job. That is my philosophy, and I will die on that hill. Okay? Get a degree. Don't sit at home and do nothing. Maybe it's not a traditional... Co okay, here's what I mean. Maybe it's not a traditional two or four year degree. Maybe it's a trade or an apprenticeship. That is the equivalent to a degree. It's the equivalent. You have to have a degree or it's equivalent. It's always going to cost you something. Degrees may cost more. Trades and apprenticeships definitely will, won't cost as much. And some they can cost, right, a little bit more. But the point is you have to have something. Do not sit on your laurels after high school. Do not wait. Your job at BK was good. Your job at McDonald's was good. But we need more. Okay. We need more. Let's keep going. A job for that. Yeah. Yeah. And um, you can you can study it if you want to study it. But uh, whatever the thing is, left-handed puppetry, BB stacking, I don't know, whatever thing is we want to make fun of that is a useless freaking degree. And then... There's no such thing as a useless degree. I disagree wholeheartedly. I disagree wholeheartedly. Because you can make it useful. Because there are many jobs, in fact, 75% of them that require a degree. And so I, I can't stand with Dave Ramsey on this one. It's not a personal shot. We just have a difference in opinion. Obviously, there are degrees that are um, more relevant. Like if you want to be a teacher... Well, you don't even have to study education to be a teacher. If you want to be a doctor, of course, you want to study something in the sciences or a pre-med track. That's not the point. The point is, is that having a degree is going to increase your earning potential rather than not having a degree or its equivalent. Maybe we can find some common ground there, Dave Ramsey. Let's talk about it if you ever see this. 200000 bucks in debt to get a use... This most often happens in. I just want to say this one thing, y'all. Learn to chew the meat and spit out the bones because that's theatrics, y'all. That's that's Hollywood. That's Hollywood. That may be actually how he feels, but don't be thrown off by that, y'all. Learn how to make a sound decision using wisdom for yourself. There's no such thing as a useless degree. No such thing. First generation where the uh, college yes. where their parents did not go to school when you and I first started looking at this we we had the hypothesis that uh, that it was more racial because you were seeing a lot of people in the black community yes. that were having this exact problem exact and problem. you kept going this is my my people yeah. and this is a problem and I kept going is it is it really a racial thing and cuz and then we dove into the numbers and we went yeah, yeah. but Black people whose parents went to school, yep. went to college, aren't yep. making that mistake. It turns out it's not a it's not a racial thing at all. It, yes. the, it's uh, it's a it's mostly the data tells us as we've studied this and researched it that regardless of your skin color, yep, uh, it, it is your propensity to do something really really damaging to yourself because your parents didn't know how to guide you through it. Absolutely, and, and give you bad advice. Here, here's the thing: what I'm learning about the second generation, Dave. Can I, can I talk to you parents real quick? I said it before. Maybe I don't need to emphasize it as much, y'all. This is huge, though. This is huge. Um, I haven't personally encountered it as much. I have from you know here and there, but don't, don't let pride be the reason why that you stay in ignorance. Get the help you need. I'm here. Hit me up. I got you. Is the first generation parent goes to school. And then the parent says, all right, I want you to go to my school because yep. if you go to my school, you'll get better network. You get a better network to go get your dream job. So then you go to your parents' school to and, and rack up all this debt just so I can meet Dave Ramsey. Yep. And hopefully Dave Ramsey yeah. can connect Dave me to Ramsey. another place to get a job, which I think that is completely false as well. Now, networking is. is important. Yeah, but you, if you, you don't need to go. You don't need to spend uh, 50,000 bucks to get a network. No. That's that's asinine. No. It's ridiculous. So. The thing, the thing is this. So I'm second generation. My, my mom and dad did not go to college. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so I'm, I mean, I'm first generation. My kids are second generation. Right. They went to my school. Yeah. But I did not send them there for the network. Right. I didn't even send them there because I was romantically involved with the school like I love the University of Tennessee. And you uh, didn't make them go there. Yeah, I did. 
<laughs> yeah, I do. Um, absolutely. I didn't know I do. that. Absolutely. I do. That's good yeah. to know. Um, I, I told them they had to go to an in-state school. Yeah. So and that, that's that's like the choice. <laughs> I mean, it was MTSU, Middle Tennessee State University, East Tennessee State University, or the University of Tennessee. And neither Pretty you. well, uh, University of Tennessee, Knoxville, University of Tennessee, Chattanooga, right. uh, Chattanooga. Memphis State, right? I mean, these are your schools you're going to go to in-state tuition because I'm not going to pay out-of-state tuition. And, if you, uh, and, the, and I do not find any piece of data that says where you went to school is correlated with your success. Okay. I can't find that anywhere. I, that part, that part, that part, that part, that part. Let's get over the prestige of going to college. It's 2023, not 1963. I, education is important. Where you got it, turns out there's not no, a single right. piece of research right. that says you're more successful if you went to Harvard. Right. You can't find it. You can't. It's, in, it's mythology. Yeah. Yeah. And Seth Godin calls it in, in uh, Borrowed Future, he's, he doesn't call them um, prestigious schools. He calls them famous schools. Mm. Yeah, that's it. Hmm. They become famous. famous. Any school hmm. can But they're not necessarily famous. better. They're just. And you want to know why they become famous? And this will be the last part because I hear the, the outro music coming in. They become famous because of the students that go there. And so if you're concerned about a school that you're going to being prestigious enough, and I want you to encourage your kids, or if you're the kid, you're about to go to school, encourage yourself. Find a mirror. Encourage yourself to be that student that makes your school famous. Listen, I agree with some of the stuff. I definitely think that this was useful in watching before you go to college. I think the biggest takeaway is to be prepared, right? Throw away the prestige of whatever school it is. You control the prestige of the school. If there ain't no students, there ain't no school. I do work with schools all around the country, right? I do my my. my uh, platform is twofold. I speak on college university campuses um, to students, faculty, and staff, but I also help students to get to college because I believe that it is one of the greatest um, opportunities that we have um, as a people to move forward, as people to move forward. Um, and so please understand that going to college is valuable, um, but the school don't make you. You make the school. Ask all of the schools, the colleges and universities that are closing down this fall. Just saying. You make the school. If you need help navigating this process and you watch this before May the 20th, 2023, I have my very first debt-free degree seminar going down in person and virtual here in Baltimore, Maryland. I would love to see you there. It is completely free and you have nothing to lose. Remember that testimony that y'all just watched? I have numerous just like that and I want you and I want you, excuse me, to have one just like it. So join me on the 20th of May, 2023. This is Jordan Green. Now, again, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more information, get more inspiration and information so that you can be well on your way to your next graduation in school and in the school of life. I'm signing out, but I'll see you soon.